Well, uh, Krishna here came to me, and after three months after his stroke, and uh, he was not able to walk. Uh, he was in in uh, in a wheelchair, and I'll show you how actually I treat Krishna. Okay, first activating the uh, brain and smoothing out the flow. The focus is on the right side of the brain. That's where the stroke is. Once the flow is smooth, at the head area, check the neck, bring the flow down to the neck. Same thing, if there's any uh, energy that is not smooth, unblock it. Then down to the shoulder area. From shoulder, go to the joint area. I'm doing unblocking at the same time, energizing as well. Move it downwards. Focus onto all the joints. Once established the flow, we can help the patient to exercise. This is like using Qigong to help the patient to do physiotherapy. And this way of uh, exercising, the patient don't feel any pain. Even go down to the uh, fingers and we could exercise and strengthen the finger as well. Once there's enough movement and flow for the arm, now we go to the spinal cord, move the energy down, activating the flow, stimulating the nervous system, all the way down to the lower back. From there, direct the chi flow to the affected leg, that's the left leg. And once established a flow, we can work on the leg. Okay, we're working on the leg. From the lower back to the hip, down to the leg. Send energy down. Smooth out the flow. Once we establish the flow, we can work on the leg now. Okay. The knee is a bit stiff, so we have to run energy in. And once we start running in, we'll be able to strengthen the whole leg. Okay, now the leg is strengthened then we can help him to exercise. Okay. When energy is flowing, 
the flexibility is there. And before we end, we make sure we energize all the important joints of the leg. After a few uh, treatment sessions, you are able to stand up with the help and then uh, after three weeks of treatment, you are able to walk with the uh, help of a walking stick. Yeah. So um, to end the session, three will stand up first. Yeah. So on to this. Yeah. And then I will end the session by making sure the whole body flow is there. <laughs> he always joke, he say, you pay money to get water. <laughs> okay, then they end the uh, treatment sessions. Yeah. My name is Krishnan. I'm 61 years old and I, I had a stroke in December of last year. And in, sometime in late February, I came, I got to know Sifu Tan and found out about Qigong and came to him. After I had the stroke, I was, I came to visit Sifu Tan. I was recommended after having read about about Chi Kong in the newspapers, and uh, one of his students, one Mr. Albert Chun, advised me to come and seek his healing, which I did, and I'm so glad that I did it because when I first came here. I was unable to even stand up or walk even with the walking stick. But after a couple of weeks of Qigong healing and Sifu Tan's treatment, both Sifu and his wife, Connie's treatment, I was able to use the walking stick and walk. I'm so glad that I came and I've recommended so many of my friends. Recently a friend of mine who had some kidney problems also came to Sifu. He was under dialysis and after some three treatments here in Sifu, Balan, he has stopped going to dialysis. Okay? And the guy is okay and he's very happy that he discovered Qigong. And you know, that's one part of it. The next part of it I must tell you is learning how to breathe using the Qigong method that you can elevate of all pains you have. You know, due to the stroke, I have got a lot of acute excruciating pains in my joints, especially at night when you are trying to lie down. Sifu taught me how to breathe properly, I mean, using the Qigong method, which actually elevates pain. Ever since that, I don't, I don't bother calling him. I used to have a lot of trouble sleeping because I used to be in a lot of pain and I used to go to the neurosurgeon and the neurologist. All they gave me were drugs, very strong painkillers and sleeping tablets. But I came and told Sifu, he told me, stop taking this. Other than just his healing sessions that I have every day, he taught me how to breathe properly. Believe you me, that breathing is one of the best things that I learned.